All right. Another quick tip Tuesday. And this week topic is very, very exciting because it touches a lot of borrowers, a lot of people across. A lot of people can relate to this. A lot, a lot of people can relate to this. Today's topic is student loan debt. There's been some recent changes to the student loan debt. If you didn't qualify before or you weren't happy with what you qualified before, get get your pre-approval refreshed because that will change with the recent changes to the, the, the new HUD student loan policy, which is very exciting. I, I actually had a, a good conversation with a lot of my, uh, with a uh, close realtor, a friend of mine today about it because uh, a lot of clients have this issue. We all have it. Um, a lot of us do have student loan debt and that can prevent you from buying a house. So basically the big, big change is before, with student loan debts, if right now a lot of people are in forbearance, so a lot of people think because of forbearance, the bank will not put any payment to that. So your debt to income ratios are pretty good, but that's a little incorrect. For FHA, it forces us to put some type of payment there, and that payment would be one percent of the loan. So a lot of for a lot of people, one percent is actually higher than their what their true payment was so that used to hurt a lot of people uh, a lot of people it disqualified a lot of people it didn't allow them to actually qualify what they wanted to qualify for so student loan debt it's a it's a blessing and a curse i know a lot of us wants to go to school get degrees a lot of some of us possibly received student loan debt and didn't finish college or didn't finish school some of us uh, received a lot of student loan debt. A lot of my clients received a lot of student loan debt and they didn't work in the field. So it's, uh, I know it's true, it's close to a lot of people's uh, situation. So this is actually a huge, huge situation. I'm actually working with a client now. They have over six figures in student loan debt. So that payment is over $1,000 a month because of that 1% rule. Now that gets sliced in half. Instead of using a thousand for their payment, because you have to put some type of payment there, now we're able to use five hundred. So that gives you a lot, a lot more buying power, which is amazing. So and also, if you didn't have zero on your actual student loan payment, a lot of people are income driven plans that didn't slide before with buying a house for FHA because typically that's a very low payment and after that yep excited and now is only half percent that's a huge 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 difference now for a lot of people uh i'm i'm very excited for a lot of people because that's actually a huge change this should have been done a long time ago but and now it's hitting more people more than ever because of the forbearance there's no actual payment there. So the banks have to use a payment. And unfortunately, the rules used to be 1%. So that's that's amazing. So back to the income driven plan. A lot of people, I wanna talk about income driven plan and people in the public sector. So income driven plan, people, when they were going shopping around for a house, they thought they can use that payment for the income driven plan, which is goals based off your income. You really can't because FHA knows if you keep making those minimal small payments, you won't ever pay that loan off. So it, it, it would either be the 1% rule or that amortized payment. So amortized payment is if you're paying a certain amount for the lifetime of the loan, the last payment pays the loan off completely. With an income driven plan, that's not the case because if you keep making that small payment, the last payment, you will have a balloon payment at the end. That's the main reason why you weren't able to use the income driven plan. Uh, the other people, well, a lot of things I get as well as people in the public sector. People think we don't have to calculate their debt, their student loan debt into the debt to income ratio 
because their debt is going to be forgiven shortly. That's not the case. We still have to have some type of payment there. And that was the 1% rule. Now it's half percent. That's a huge, huge difference. Um, I saw some questions. Can this affect how much of a loan I will get approved for? Yes, your what you will get approved for will actually increase because your debt to income ratio will go in your favor. You will have less debt and you would have uh, you'll be able to qualify for a higher home. But th that's why this is uh, huge, huge news. So if you were pre-approved recently, if you pre-approved last year and were discouraged because all of your student loan debt, if you've always been discouraged because of your student loan debt of how much you have and you were scared you weren't qualified for a loan, go get pre-approved. If it isn't with me, go with someone you trust. Go get pre-approved. Get refreshed. Go with someone that knows the rules, knows the policies, and your pre-approval what you qualify for will increase because of this. This completely changes the game of reaching home ownership. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'm actually very, very excited for this rule. Uh, a lot of people, I had a lot of people in the past year, I would say, had to get turned down or didn't qualify for their dream home because of student loan debt. It's uh, very saddening. It's, it's, it's very tough to speak with a client that's so eager for home ownership that they don't qualify because of their student loan debt. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's amazing news, everyone. So if you know someone with a lot of student loan debt, if yourself, you have a lot of student loan debt and you didn't qualify before or you were discouraged because of your student loan debt, this is your time to go get pre-approved. This is your time. I I wouldn't wait. You're ready to buy a multifamily home. That's the way to go. You would qualify for more now because less debt, more income. You also have income from the rental property, so you would qualify even more for a student loan debt uh, for a home purchase. I'm going to take a few questions before I wrap it up. Each and every Quick Tip Tuesday, I want to keep it short and to the point. I just want to give everyone awareness of what's going on in the real estate market, what's going on on the mortgage side. I'm an investor. I'm a landlord. I manage properties. So I just want to give a little taste of because I always run into a lot of different scenarios throughout the week, throughout the month, throughout the day. So I just want to give that knowledge to everyone because knowledge is power, everyone. Trust me on that. Does this affect the private student loans too? Yeah, all, all student loans. So any student loans, public, private, we would have to take the 1% rule. Now it would have to be the half percent rule, which is uh, pretty good. It cuts that payment in half. So the more student loan debt you had, the better off you are because the less payment that goes into your debt column. Let me make sure I've touched on all the points I want to discuss. We discussed the forbearance. We discussed the 1%. We discussed income-driven plan, amortized payment. Yeah, everyone. Hope you guys learned something this week. Uh, don't forget, spread the word. If you know someone that went to school that didn't pay out of pocket and they're looking for a house and they were discouraged before, just let them know. Spread the news, let everyone know, and get your pre-approval or get your pre-approval refreshed. A few days ago, I was at night on a pre-qual for a loan and multifamily excited to see what it says now. Yes, this this news is brand new. It's uh so please get the refresher. If you need any guidance, any help, reach out to me. This is what I'm here for, guys. I'll take one more question and I would wrap it up. All right.
I will wrap it up. Don't forget, everyone. Every Tuesday, Quick Tip Tuesdays, if you have any topics you want to discuss, anything real estate, just let me know. I, I receive a lot of inquiries and a lot of different things. Just let me know what's important to you. I want to discuss what's important to everyone. Yes, you reach out to me with any questions. If you're looking to buy a house, looking to sell a house, I can connect you with the proper realtors in that area. I focus on the mortgage side so I can help you get the actual loan to buy your house and I can guide you the best way I can. Everyone, thank you for joining Quick Tip Tuesday. And once again, huge, huge news for anyone with student loan debt. Before it was called the 1% rule, which is 1% of your loan is calculated into your debt column. Now it's the half percent rule. So that debt is cut in half. That would improve your qualifications. Everyone have a great rest of your Tuesday and we'll touch shortly.